As a believing Muslim, I want to give you my totally unfiltered opinion of Israeli Jews. I love them with all of my heart. Every one of them. The innocent civilians, the women, the children, the non-combatants, all of them. All of the people in Israel, all of the Jewish people who aren't taking arms and fighting innocent civilians on the other side. I love every one of them. And even the ones who are taking arms and fighting civilians on the Israeli side, I love them too. As the Prophet, peace and blessings upon him, said, support your brother, whether they're the oppressor or the oppressed. And one of the companions said, I understand supporting my brother when he's the oppressed, but how do I support the oppressor? And the Prophet, peace and blessings upon him, said, by stopping him from doing the oppression. Listen, when somebody is oppressing another person, they're also oppressing their own heart and their own soul. They don't realize the hell that they're leading themselves into, metaphorically and literally, right? I have love for every human being, which is why I want to share this message with you. If you're a believing Muslim and you don't agree with me here, I want you to think about something. And anybody who even claims that anything in Islam or anything about Muslims is, is intrinsically anti-Semitic, firstly, Muslims and Jews lived together in harmony for literally hundreds of years under Muslim rule, right? Why? There was no conflict. Jewish people were welcome into the land, into the Holy Land. They're welcome to worship and live there. There was no problem with it. A minority of the population was Jewish, but they were welcomed in. In fact, during the time of the Crusades, Jewish people were always rooting for Muslims because they knew they would be protected. They were a protected class under Muslim rule because we believe in the Prophet Abraham and Moses, peace and blessings be upon them and all who follow their teachings. And in fact, Christian people are welcome and free to worship in Muslim lands as well and will always be protected as the Prophet, peace and blessings upon him, made explicitly clear in a, in a statement that was transcribed and signed with his handprint that we'll talk about another time. But the one, what I wanna share with you right now is anybody who thinks that there's any anti-Semitism amongst Muslims or in Islam, think about this. In every single prayer, five times a day, in every prayer I make, I literally pray for peace and blessings and prayers to be upon Jewish people. Every single prayer. Because we say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama sallayta ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ali Sayyidina Ibrahim innaka hamid mujid. We ask Allah to send blessings and prayers upon Muhammad and his family and followers, just as Allah sent blessings and prayers upon Abraham and his family and followers. And who are the family and followers of Abraham? Jewish people. They are literally people that we pray for every day. When I am honored to meet a rabbi, a true person of knowledge of the Jewish religion, I treat them as a true scholar. I literally humble myself in front of them because they've done studying of, of scripture, of God's scripture. When I'm with Jewish people, I have nothing but love for them. I've had beautiful experiences of welcoming Jewish people into a masjid and showing them around and doing a tour. Rabbis in training, in fact. And I was touched and honored when they said that they were, they were really happy to be in a mosque because they said they're allowed to come to mosques because we worship one true God. And they also said that, that they're not allowed into churches that celebrate the Trinity because they believe that they're uh, not celebrating the one true God there uh, in, in the Jewish beliefs. I was actually really honored by that. And I have great love for Jewish people and all Muslims do. And when we protest, those of us who are protesting and we're wanting peace in the Middle East and we're wanting our governments to not fund the arms trade and to not fund the military that are killing innocent people, it's because of the killing of innocent people it's not because of any, like, it's a complete myth that this conflict that's happening is between Muslims and Jews due to some historical religious conflict. It's not. We've lived in peace for hundreds of years together. And inshallah, we will live in peace again for hundreds of years. All we need to do is get rid of anyone who's trying to hold arms to kill innocent people on the other side. May Allah bring peace to the Middle East. May Allah bring peace and love into the hearts of all Muslims and all Jews 
for themselves, for each other, and for all of humanity. May Allah remove the difficulty that's happening in the Middle East. May Allah grant all the innocent people who have been killed Jannat al-Firdaus, the highest level of paradise. May Allah forgive me if anything I've said in any of these videos is incorrect. That mistake comes from me. And if anything I've said is of truth and has touched you in any way, know that the insights you're having are coming to you directly from Allah. If you want more training from me, go check out my website, mamunyusaf.com. And if you want to watch the next daily spiritual download, check out the next video. Until next time, may the peace, love, and blessings of Allah be with you always.